Hello, Spring here. It's uh, Saturday, 24th of February, 2018, and it's a rare day off. It's about, I think it's about zero degrees, so it's a little chilly. Um, I haven't done anything on the carport for probably a couple of months now because work and health and all sorts of other issues, uh, everything, and the weather, the weather's been just grim and I haven't felt like coming out and doing this on my uh, rare days off. But anyway, oh, everything's just completely changed again, which uh, is not unusual for me to completely U-turn on something. Right, let's uh, update you on what is happening. I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, so we were at the point where all I had to do, all I had to do was put the trusses on the top of here, stick a roof on it and Bob's your uncle. Uh, well, that's completely different now because this space I now need for cars on the drive I can only fit well I could, I could fit four cars in but um, for practicality three cars two here and one on the gravel at the front uh, what's going on is this car is going to become my daughter's car when she comes back from Australia later in the year so that's gonna be here my car is normally here that's gonna change to a van at some point and then we're gonna replace this with another car for Tracy so we'll have three cars again so unfortunately the Escort has been relegated to back where it was but I'm still going to do this roof but what I'm going to do is take these gates off now and this bit and I'm going to as I was originally extend the carport to the edge of the house but it will be just a carport just a roof no gates on the front so that we can daily driver cars can come in and out uh, hope you're keeping up with all this <laughs> And then I was going to put up like a gazebo up here with a roofed section in the middle just to keep some weather off the Escort. But as it turns out, uh, Tracy's decided that it's time to cash in on the Escort and put that lump of money towards her next updated car um, she's we had a good old conversation the other day we did 300 miles in this last year um, lovely as it is it's finished the project's done apart from one more little thing I've got to do to it which I'll film in the coming week uh, it's a lot of money just sat there doing nothing for the odd day out and you normally find that every summer I spend all summer working every day because that's just the nature of our business. Uh, sorry, not our business, the business I work in. So this goes out once or twice a year. Uh, the bike goes out more and Tracy likes going on the bike with me. So this is going at some point. So we won't need cover for this. So now I'm gonna get on with taking these gates down, taking that crossbar down, I'm gonna put another two posts in, extend this side bit, and then when I get round to putting the roof on, it's literally just gonna be a normal carport. These side bits can stay open, the front will stay open. We can drive in and out, and it'll be somewhere to still work on the cars under cover if it's raining, because I don't have a car garage, just the bike one. Anyway, that's it and uh, probably be a couple of little extra bits on the end of here as I take stuff down. So thanks for, uh, thanks for watching, see you in a bit. 
Okay. Two gates minus hardware stashed. I'm actually going to strip these, strip them into all their component parts because all this wood will definitely get used on other projects. In fact, I've got some more fencing to do down the bottom, and these will be the perfect little fence palisades for it. So this will all get reused. And that's all the hardware, which again will get used again. A couple of these I'm actually going to put on these gates in the middle just for a bit of extra extra beef. So my next job is to get rid of that and that. And then look at putting two more posts in and extending this down. I'm going to try to reuse this, but I did glue and screw these together. So the chances of me actually separating these parts, we'll see in a bit. If I can, it'd be brilliant because this is all good, good material. Okay, that bit's down. It was, uh, yeah, there's no way they were coming apart because it's glued glued and screwed all the way through so I just hacked it that end and the weight coming down pulled out the screws from this end so I whipped that off the wall and then you take all this out make up a piece in here and then figure this out for the next bit coming along okay this post has gone I've uh, had to hack the bolts off, push them in, and just fill that. And then this side, to take all this mess out, I'm going to do uh, this one. I'm going to cut so it sits halfway on the fence. And this one, there's a join there, so I'm actually going to take that piece off. I'm going to put an extra piece of post in there. Then I can put uh, a halfway there, shoot along another eight foot, and then this top one, take out from the join there, and then layer whatever 10 foot put across the top, glue and screw it again. So we should be back to where we were, just eight foot longer. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Extended that, glued and screwed it. There will be a bracket each side. Chop that down the middle for the next bit to go on. I'm taking that section off so it overlaps. So now I'm going to go and get two more posts and see if I can salvage some of this stuff. Which is doubtful because I screwed it and glued it really well. <laughs> so uh, I might have to get some more of that. Well, good news, I've managed to split the first one, take the screws out, drive that in with a hammer, wedge it all the way down. That's come off clean, so if I can get these apart, then all this wood's reusable. So that's some stuff I haven't got to buy, good news. All right, a couple of fence posts there. Some post creep. Dig a couple more holes, put the posts in next, but uh, not before I've had some breakfast. All right, well, I've concreted the last two posts in, put the first bit across the top. Uh, I've just got to separate some more of that wood now, get another piece up to the end, and then chop off. Whatever I don't need, and then a bit of green paint, and then that's the job done for now. All right, that's all done now. I'm gonna leave the leave the end now until this goes in, so I know exactly where it's going before I cut it off. I'm just gonna put some green paint on it now. That'll be done.
Right, well I ran out of green paint, so I've had to put a really light coat just on that. So that's it for now. Till the next time. Alright, I'm done for today. Uh, don't know how long this video is going to be, but it's just something I wanted to get done. Uh, next video is going to be me doing a little job on the Escort, which is going to take minutes, hopefully. So, thanks for watching. I think I've been too boring. This carport thing just seems to go on forever and ever, and it's going to be months and months before I actually get it finished and get a roof on it. But, oh well, that's just how it goes. Uh, cheers for tuning in. Uh, Love and peace, take care, I've been Springy, see you later.